This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities mm. in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Yes, that's me. <laughs> How did your mother cope with you, with you ah, as a last like born? No, wait, 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 Ooh. wait. I need to ask a question, man. Uh. Is it that you guys don't see me on what? Cause we don't I'm, see I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I was am I supposed lying, to be? I am I supposed to be your mirror? No, no, but chill, man. Come on, now, right in front. Sorry, you guys don't understand what's. We going need on. another show where it's just like the behind, behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Yeah. yeah. So you know how big of a character if it is. I'm telling you. We all are. No, you, no, you, you are like. If I, you're a body full. Like we need to use all our energy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, but come on, man. This is the second time you guys have just ignored something. You know, like. <laughs> You guys need to do better. We'll try. Moving on. <clears throat> Demi Lovato is set to share her journey after drug overdose in a new docu series. She will be the subject of the yet-to-be-titled project. The new show will follow her ups and downs as she works um, to rebuild her career following a 2018 drug overdose. Hmm. I think there's a new She's way to go for She's been very open them. about... <laughs> what do you say? This is a new way to go, way to go like putting your experience out there because a, a lot of people would She learn. already did the one on the struggle. Yeah, mm. but I what I'm saying is, you know, Justin Bieber did the same thing and it's the same director that will be directing this as well. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's a good thing because it, they, they have a lot of influence. So people need to see their struggles, see how they overcame their drug abuse, all of those things. And then with that, you can you don't know who might be going through the same thing. That will be like, okay, it just Justin vibes Bieber me like a realist, realistic, real <laughs> reality TV show, but with a specific purpose of what they want to reveal. That's what mm. it looks like to me because it will also be staged. I mean, it's good intentions and everything, but they'll still script out how they want things to be displayed. Either ways, I like that she is really vulnerable in front of the camera. Um, and she's one of those very few people that actually show vulnerability. Some people show vulnerability to a point where it starts to sound really cliche. Like, oh my gosh, guys, yeah, we all feel the same. We're so insecure. <laughs> but not really. Like, you're still pretty badass and you don't, it's not actually relatable. This girl has shown up, has failed so many times in her journey. She's relapsed so many times in her journey, which is more, seems more like the reality of things that were well, not actually that great. And we're not that mm. powerful, and we're not that strong-willed. And she's been showing that and living that. Um, and it's in front of everyone. Um, and, and, and I really like that. I really appreciate that she's that honest about her thing. So for that purpose, I'm willing to watch her scripted mm. um, docu right. series because I still think that she will bring that realness into the content. I like, that you, see, sorry, I like that you see that she's honest because that's the one thing that also plays in her song. Mm. Like she puts it that's all in there. So even if this is going to be scripted, I think she has, she has done enough to pour her heart out. Course, yeah. And if you've been following her story, even sometimes when she's shooting her um, videos, you get to see the process and she talks about the journey and why she wrote the song and all that. So Demi Lovato is one artist I've loved for a long time and I think she's underrated. I mean, personally, I'm not yeah. saying that as a fact, but that's my own personal opinion. And I wish, I, I wish her more success and I just hope that she can stay true on this one. Regardless, I like that she's making it clear that celebrities are human. Mm. Um, they are not perfect, which is what so many... Um, celebrities try to print yeah. and sometimes they can't live up to that the expectation they actually start creating for themselves and not necessarily the fans someone else I think is as real as ever is Cardi B as mm. well like <laughs> she's just a vibe like yeah. a vibe you so, sent me something yesterday on Cardi B yes I, I did I it. yeah I, I did oh I have she so. jumped into the pool <laughs> <laughs> she oh, didn't you jump cancel into the me. Pool. <laughs> she said she was cancelled was it three times last yeah. year and she has she has not released the song in the last eight months but she's still some people's headache so she's so awesome and she jumps <laughs> can be something else but yeah, yeah i love i love realness and that's one of the things that attracts me to people any day anytime yeah and i have to also put into the conversation that she was actually like a child star she worked with um, disney and nickelodeon for a long time so majority of her fan base are actually children. So you start to even, I guess, find the importance of what she's doing even more critical because she's touching a lot of young hearts. Yeah. And we know that drug problems are associated to the like, child stars, the, you know, child yeah. stars yeah. and young people. So but she's doing something really important. But what do you think is really the cause important. of that? Why is it because they can manage fame? 
properly and they feel like they need to get away and that's I think it's just life because even be without fame we see a lot of kids going through um drug you know abuse. drug yeah. abuse problems depending on how your environment is and I think that's something that she's been really loud about that she's had a and very something toxic you mentioned environment yesterday to your mental capacity yep mm -hmm. depends mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. okay moving on quickly before we introduce a very interesting guest Nigerian feminists are the future of this country if nothing else works this women will work and this is from writer Ofi I hope I pronounced that right. Why are you drumming? I, no, I, don't I was drum. The drum war was to for if you're mine. I mean, I like to do you hear agree? Other people's. I agree. I don't I, think I agree. Okay, well, I personally because okay. if she had said, um, okay, this is both sides now. It could I could be right. I could be wrong from my own perspective as well. Both <laughs> okay. sides. So if she had said that feminists are the future of Nigeria or something, maybe that would sit well with me. But Nigerian feminists, I think they've displayed a lot of uh, <sighs> drama. At, at least the mean. ones at the forefront. They've displayed a mm. lot of um, non-inclusiveness in their agenda to push the idea of feminism forward. And that has created a lot of confusion in the movement. But do I understand what feminism is about? Yes, I absolutely do. Mm. I saw a post yesterday. It was supposed to be funny, but I think it was derogatory. Mm. I think you're the one that sent it to me. Um, the one, um, the one about the <laughs> the animal that has to swallow right. up yeah. um, the male because they have to reproduce. That's yeah. basically their biological um, um, process and all that. And I sent it to another friend, and then the friend said, feminists will love this. And I uh -uh. said, you know what? That's a very ignorant statement to make. And of course, he tried to joke about it, and like he's also a feminist, he's just joking. Oh, that he's looking at it from social media. Well, I, said, I saw okay, a meme. I, 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 don't know, I don't care if it sounds ignorant or not. But, but I know there are a <laughs> lot of feminists Wait. out there that are actually working low-key and not even making noise and trying to do everything in their own capacity to ensure that there is a gender balance and also that the country or the economy moves forward so it's 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 somehow for me i don't know i don't know okay um i don't i think in every industry and every movement and every space it's the bad eggs and the good oh, eggs. i know you're going to say that yes, have because responded that, to me for you <laughs> because that's always the the um pushback we have with the movement and i don't think it's necessary to even like it doesn't even hold waters because um in the especially in nigeria i have seen on small scales and super large scales where NGOs have come to save the world in terms of Nigeria now, mm -hmm. have saved because the government doesn't have any space for that. We've seen that with children. A lot of the schemes that um, the government has had, they've not been able to execute and they've always gone to um, the NGOs, mm -hmm. feminist M NGOs to take care of the children of Nigeria, the abuse, the vulnerable, the women. Nigeria has one of the highest rates of vulnerable women in the country. We have one of the highest rates of AIDS, and we have the, one of the highest rates of rape. We have the highest rates of everything. Don't yes. Worry. Yeah. My question so, to this person would be: On what basis? What What are you so? On what grounds are you saying that feminists are the future tomorrow? That if everything don't work, they will work. On what grounds? I think it's what? because of the resilience that you're seeing now. Mm. The resilience is that a lot of parties, a lot of people who are supposed to be. Um, leading us and helping us are not doing their jobs mm. and one of the departments that is free from corruption for the most part i'm not saying completely for the most part is the feminist movement really and yeah and even just mm -mm. the ngo space <laughs> as well i'm a woman mm. but i don't agree with that <laughs> what do you but mean unfortunately that not, unfortunately that we corrupt. don't have time because no, we're no, making I, I because like, we're, we're bringing but because we don't have time i think we need to talk about this on monday again because maybe then out of our have your time but i saw a meme before we go right they said okay. feminist when they realize that they leave in the boys' quarters and not the girls' quarters. Oh, wow. That's, so that's lame. But tea time continues. Well, I didn't come up with it. Right Love after it, yeah. this break. I